Hello, and welcome to the Hona Harmonica Workshops. Workshop CO2, cleaning. From time to time, it's necessary to clean your harmonica. This is both for hygienic reasons and also to ensure that it continues to function optimally. In order to perform this job, you need the following tools from the Hona service set. The reed lifting blade, the screwdriver, the cleaning cloth, the slide lubricant, and it's very helpful to also use the mouthpiece cleaner, which you can order separately from the Hona C shop. Gabby's gonna show you how to do this using a Super 64 Chromonica. The first step is to unscrew the cover plate screws. Through playing, you'll find that a residue of dried skin and dried saliva accumulates on the inside leading edge of the covers. It's a good idea to remove this from time to time, and you can do that by spraying the cleaning cloth with a little of the mouthpiece cleanser and then wiping off this deposit. The next step is to remove the mouthpiece and slide assembly. And as you can see, Garby is unscrewing the two screws, one at each end of the mouthpiece. And when they are completely loosened, she loosens them by hand and then lifts off the complete mouthpiece and slide assembly. The Super 64 has a three-part slide assembly, as you can see. When taking it apart, it's important to not lose the buffers which fit over the screws to stop the slide knocking into them. These are small and rather fiddly. Should you ever lose a buffer, or should you see that they're worn out, which may very easily be the case if you've been playing the instrument for several years, then contact your local music retailer for replacements or log on to the Hona C Shop. Now Garby's going to clean the mouthpiece and the slide assembly, starting with the mouthpiece. First of all, you have to remove the screws, of course, but try not to lose them. After cleaning the mouthpiece, we clean the blank. The blank actually sits behind the slide against the body of the instrument. And after cleaning the blank, she then cleans the slide itself. When cleaning the slide assembly, it's very important to make sure that you do not bend either the slide or the blank. And this is the reason why Garby was cleaning them against the table to avoid tensioning the metal. In order to clean the reed plates, it's necessary to remove them from the body of the instrument. This requires the posi drive tip of the screwdriver. So Garby is turning the head around in order to be able to unscrew the reed plate screws. When removing the reed plates, it's very important to first of all loosen all of the screws evenly. Uh, don't just take one out and leave the others in. Loosen them all and then remove them one after the other when they've all been loosened to the same amount that they come out easily. Now that all the screws have been loosened, remove them one after the other. When all the screws have been removed, then it's possible to lever off the reed plates using the fingernail. The supports which hold the covers up come off with the reed plate and are quite easy to then remove from the plate itself. Perfect. When taking the reed plates off, be careful that the slide spring does not jump out of its mounting because it can be fiddly to get it back in again. Now the next step is to clean the groove at the front edge of the reed plate, which you do with the cleaning cloth and the cleaning fluid. It's only necessary 
to remove and clean the reed plates if there really is some kind of malfunction of the instrument, like for example a rattle from a loose wind saver or if it is not airtight. If it's working properly, then don't take the reed plates off because it's not necessary. Just as a residue of dried saliva can build up on the inside of the covers or on the edge of the reed plate, it can also develop on the reeds or the slots themselves. In order to remove this, it's necessary to plink the reeds with the reed lifting tool. And this is what Gabi is doing here. This is an essential step whenever you work on reeds. Whatever you're doing, whether you're cleaning them, offsetting them, or tuning them, you should regularly plink the reed. You lift the tip with the reed lifting tool and let it snap back into the slot. Uh, this has the effect in this instance of removing any tiny encrustations on the side of the slot and make sure that the reed can vibrate freely.